Hello and today we'll be checking how to uh, get the ability to compare the price amongst different sellers selling the same product within the marketplace itself. So uh, we'll be checking out the workflow at the storefront first uh, from the customer's perspective and then we'll be showing you how to assign the products uh, that are already there within the global catalog by the marketplace vendors and the admin as well. Apart from that, uh, we'll also be showing you how the customers can view the actual product and the other sellers who are offering the same product with a different price and available quantities along with the seller name and the shop name as well. So before proceeding further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find the video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the Marketplace uh, storefront and this uh, Marketplace is based on the WooCommerce multi Window Marketplace by Webcool. So uh, you can see that we have this uh, particular product that's the Patient Ninja for $35 and if I scroll down a bit here we can see other sellers selling the same product with the seller name, the seller shop the product price offered by this particular seller, the stock available and an add to cart button as well. Now this is how the price comparison is done for the same product that's available within the global catalog by the customers and now according to that the customers can choose uh, their respective seller, can tap here on the add to cart button to make a checkout. Now uh, the product has been added to the cart and when now you are checking this particular product within the card itself now under the product name you will be able to see in the assigned seller number for this particular product that's the patient ninja product now let's proceed further uh, to check out and let's place the order and let's see where else we can find the same details so under the order here you can see that uh, we have the product name along with the assigned seller and the price is 32 dollars so uh, let me enter the details for my billing address and thereafter we'll just make a checkout. I'll just set up the details here and uh, let me scroll down a bit. Okay and California. Let me set that up. Now let's tap here on the place order button. Now the number of the uh, assigned seller is visible to the marketplace customer in the order details as well. This is order number 187 and here are the order details and here's the name of the product that's the patient ninja and the, the seller which has been selected by the customer is the seller number 5 for the same product there. So once again let me take you to the product there and if I scroll down here are the other sellers offering the same product uh, product that's already within the global catalog there with different price and different stock units as well. So this was the customer's uh, view, how the customers can check the price comparison. Now let's hop on to the uh, marketplace window end. So for that, uh, let me go ahead and let me log out of my uh, customer account and uh, now we'll be logging into the window account so we'll see the dashboard now now for example i want to sell a product that's already there within the marketplace itself in the global catalog so what i do is here's my marketplace uh, account options account blog so uh, this plugin provides these two options to the marketplace vendors one is the assigned product and the other one is the assigned product list so here uh, under the assigned product we can assign the product and after assigning it uh, we can find that particular product being listed under the assigned product list thereafter. So first of all let's go to the assigned product. So from here you can see that uh, we have the products that can uh, be sold out by the marketplace vendor. Now these products are the ones uh, that are said to be the global ones. Initially, they are not global, so the admin needs to make them global first and then they are available for the marketplace vendors to choose under their section, that's the assigned product. So uh, you can also search uh, for the assigned product here. So for example, if I go ahead and do uh, 
if I enter Woosicle and hit the enter button. So uh, this product can be sold out uh, by this vendor as well. So that's how you can search uh, as well. Let's refresh this uh, page once. And let, let's see the complete list of products that we can sell out that are there already there within the global catalog. So uh, let's go for this one, the Woo logo variable for $30. To assign the product, a new product from my end, I'll just tap here on the sell button. So here the, is the request uh, product, the Woo logo variable. And now we can assign a new product to the same. So uh, as this is a variable product, uh, we'll have to set up uh, the product with all these variations as well. So for now, we'll set the price as one, two, three, and the quantity as one, two, three. And this is uh, for the color blue. For the color red, let's set it as three, two, one, and three, two, one for the demo purposes. The status of this particular product should be published, and then we can tap here on the assign product. If it's not a variable product, then only one window will appear where you'll have to add your price and the stock unit for the respective product. Then just tap here on the assign button and you'll see a assign successfully message. Now, after assigning, we are redirected to the assigned product list wherein we can find our product that we have just assigned. So here's the whole logo variable. Uh, it's published and the price is uh, between one, two, three, and three to one dollars there. Now you can also access this uh, assigned product list by tapping here on the assigned product list under the assigned product. And from here you can edit or delete the assigned product to edit. Just tap here in the edit uh, button, change uh, the different uh, price and the quantities there for your respective product. So this is applicable to all the products there. So for the simple one as well and, and the variable as well. Now, after we're done here, now let's check this who, uh, logo variable product at the storefront. So let me search that up in the global catalog there. So this is the actual product having the color as red and blue. Uh, that's for $30. If I scroll down, here are the other sellers. And here's uh, myself the seller John Doe, John Doe shop and we are selling this product as well. Now you might uh, think that uh, the product price stock in the uh, action uh, column having the add to cart button is not available and that's so because this is a valuable product and we need to select the option so I'll just tap here on the select options. I'll go for the red. Now if I scroll down you can see for the red it's uh, the price is 3 to 1. The stock available is 3 to 1. And the same goes uh, for the other color, that's the blue color. It's the other color. And here's the price for that, that's the 1 to 3 dollars. And the stock is 1 to 3 itself. And from here, the customer can now add it to the cart and can make a check out thereafter. Checking the one that's uh, the, uh, what we say as the uh, cheapest one. And then the same is visible within the cart as well. So if I go to the cart, here we have a normal product and this one is the assigned seller 3 and the rest of the process is similar as I've already shown you there at the storefront from the customer's perspective. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's check the initial configurations and the rest of the options there for this particular plugin in the backend of the WooCommerce multi vendor Marketplace uh, store by Webcool. And kindly note that this particular plugin that's the WooCommerce Marketplace seller price comparison uh, is an add-on to the Webcool's uh, WooCommerce Multimedia Marketplace. So you'll have to have that first and then you can make use of the Marketplace seller price comparison over that. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel now. So here I'm at the backend. Let's log into the backend panel. So uh, after the successful installation of this particular plugin, uh, the admin will find the seller price comparison being listed here on the side panel. And under that, he'll have three different configurations uh, there, all of the options. One is the assigned products, wherein the admin can find the complete list of assigned products that have been assigned for the products that are there already in the global catalog, uh, which have been added by the marketplace vendors. Under the add global products, the admin can add the products as global. And after adding them as global, they'll be available under the global product list. 
and this global product list would be available for the market-based vendors and from this list they can assign their pro uh, product that is uh, there within this list so any of the products within this list can be sold out by the marketplace vendors as well so let's go to the assigned products uh, section first so here you can see the complete list of uh, products being sold out by the marketplace vendors so these are the assigned ones and not the actual ones okay so the actual one is being sold by some other seller and these are the assigned products for them sold out by the different marketplace vendors here the ad here the admin can basically uh, assign uh, can filter the products by assigned and unassigned so if I choose unassigned and I tap, tap here on the apply button then all of the products that are not uh, that are unassigned right now would be visible and from here the admin can uh, make any of the product as uh, assigned as well so basically uh, this section is used for filtering out the assigned and unassigned uh, products now coming to the add global products here the admin will find the complete list of products and from the drop down he can delete and can assign the global product so to assign the global product what it means is that uh, for example here we have the premium quality so right now it's not uh, uh, in the global product uh, list that is available for the vendors uh, from which we, they can choose the product that they, they want to sell out so I'll just tap here in the add global product and now you can see that the premium quality would be removed from this list all right and this would be added into the global product list so if I go to the second page you'll see in the last the premium quality being listed now this premium quality would be visible to the customers to the marketplace vendors now uh, under the assign uh, product section so I'll just show you that in a moment let's uh, make another product global Woo album 4 add global product it has been removed now it has been assigned here to the global product list so if I just go to the next page okay on the next page we'll find the Woo album 4 and the premium quality itself now let me uh, show these two products in the uh, assigned product list there for the marketplace vendor so here I'm at the vendor's end and this is the assigned uh, product list so here you can find the premium quality now and the Woo album 4 that can now be sold out by this particular uh, vendor so if I go back uh, to the admin end that's how you can uh, create a product that's global product by going to the add global product section and then tapping on the add global product link under the status column for the products there so if i tap here on the woo singles it would be made global and is now available under the global product list that is supplied to the marketplace vendors so if i go to the last page here's the woo singles that we have added so uh, that was much about the uh, WooCommerce multi-vendor price comparison plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at webcool.com, raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com, contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contact. And if you find this video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.